Good evening, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project. Just getting home, but the beginning of the video is the end of my day. I am sitting in the dark because I'm going to show you something huge for the off-grid project. Huge for the off-grid homestead. Because now, soon, I will be able to say we are fully off the grid. Now, we were on a road trip today to get these big boys. Duracell 235 amp hour golf cart batteries. It was a, an old whole day affair and I got my batteries and I'm gonna wire up our property to be fully off the grid. Got a lot of changes coming up. Sorry I'm out of breath. We're going to have a snowstorm tonight, and I've been rushing around getting my building supplies together to build a bench for these. I'm going to have a insulated box to keep the batteries in, and I've just been running around because we're going to get six to eight inches of snow tonight and tomorrow. So um, I hope that I'll be able to upload this video for you guys and share it with you, uh, that we don't lose grid power that powers our internet before I get the system put together. So I have been gone all day and I just got home. I think it's six o'clock at night and <laughs> pitch black out. Anyway, so this is a huge big deal for the off-grid homestead. Now for now, because we've got snow coming and everything, I'm just gonna hook these up in the garage and get them going. But I may consider swapping these with the ones in the electronics shop. I've got to give it some real serious thought where I'm going to use the most power. But um, that's something I've got to consider overnight and sleep on it. Anyway, I got some batteries. Okay. Um, got some exciting stuff to show you. So the video that I did earlier today will now follow. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project and a huge, huge change for the Off-Grid Homestead. Check out what I got to see today. Look at this array, guys. There's 22,000 watts of solar panels. 22,000 watts of solar, and he uses uh, all of it here. Um, this is a normal home where they haven't done a lifestyle adjustment like we have. They want to live a comfortable life. So you can live a comfortable, normal life and be off the grid. You don't have to be all crazy like we are and change your life entirely and wash in a bucket. Now, these are adjustable for the seasons, but he's got them set up for winter right now. And this is, this you can go off the grid, guys, entirely and have a normal lifestyle. Right here is living proof. And here you got a bunch of midnight solar charge controllers collecting all the power from the solar panels and feeding into a battery box, which we'll show you here in a minute. And this is the inverters, right? Yep. So this is a heavy duty system. This is amazing. And uh, they were sharing with me Something really awesome, which I didn't know uh, my little charge controllers don't have the ability But if your batteries are charged up or you're not using all the power these have the ability to go into a dump load Which is awesome and uh, use that extra power for heating water or whatever else and I like that and There's a 48 volt battery bank. I'm gonna make this real quick because he's losing heat This is a heated insulated box a lot of power here guys Uh, you guys can refer back to the previous clip. There's bus bars in here, copper bus bars, and also that's fused. So just so you see that was done properly here. So these are 235 amp hour batteries. So that's quite a bit of power here for this home. So this here, guys, is like a tiny house on wheels being built. And we've got, what, two, four, six, eight. What is that? Times four? 20, 200, uh, 2400? Uh, they're 
four, three, four, six, eight. Oh, okay, 5,000 watts of power right there, guys. On a portable house here. On a trailer there. And here we got the front, it's under construction. Now the panels are foldable, so you can fold them up on top. They're hinged for transportation, which is really cool. And we'll take you on inside here. And here you've got all the controllers. There's the power inverter, midnight solar. And down here is a really cool deal. He's got a big heavy duty steel battery box under the floor. Really neat. And then it's a toy hauler, so you got the big drop down door. Air conditioning for summer use. And as you can see, it's under construction, but now see this steep slope of the roof is designed for the solar panels for maximum um, power. And the thing though is, it's still very comfortable in here. This side wall is not bad. The slope isn't bad at all. This is a cute little tiny house being built with a massive amount of solar power. These guys don't play around. They want to have a comfortable uh, life here, even when they're out on the road. So, really nice. I'm thankful that he, they allowed me to, to have the tour here. Got the snow shovel out, just in case we get hit hard. So, uh, we'll see what comes tonight.